Hey guys, let me just show you uh, what I'm doing down here in my cave here with the uh, spoons. Some of the sp spoons I'm working on now, for, say for the past week, basically I've been making one a day, put it aside, it's, they've been green wood. So I let them dry for about three days after I carve them out and I touch them up, still have to touch them up and then I oil them up. And, uh, I just started working with oak. I haven't really worked with oak before, but uh, so let me just show you some of the stuff that I'm working on. And again, these are practical, uh, nothing fancy. Um, I'll just kind of show you what I've been working on and then I'll just talk about a little bit what I'm doing. So, but uh, I'm learning. So you learn with me. And again, there's so many good people out there, but uh, let's uh, take a look at some of the stuff there. But, uh, okay. This is just a long piece of uh, red oak. This one's finished. And I put uh, flaxseed oil, and then I finish it with uh, this Robert Oliver Woodworks Wood Wax. But... There's a couple of applica applications of the flaxseed oil. <clears throat> and with the oak, it takes a while to uh, to go in. Also, I made this one over here. It looks a little funky. Be a good soup spoon or general purpose spoon. This is a different piece of wood than these. But, uh, you know, it's all right. This right here is mulberry. Uh, this is finished. I finished this, I think, oiling it last night, so. But a uh, little funky little piece of wood here. But uh, it's a nice mulberry. So, and this is mulberry. I will oil this up uh, tomorrow. Kind of lightweight, nice little thinner. I made a mistake right in that little divot there. Doesn't matter. It's going to be nice. Not oiled. And uh, that's what's gonna. And this one here, I'll show you some pictures too. Um, oak, when I started making it, it's finished now. And uh, it's a nice little natural bend to it. And uh, see that right there? Instead of scrapping it, there was a, a knot in there. So I, I keep the knot in there. So, kind of funky. But still very strong <clears throat> and nice flaxseed oil and then the Robert's wood wax there, Robert Oliver's wood wax. <clears throat> oak, oak from the same tree you saw me in the woods. Um, this is a nice one. I just put one coating of flaxseed oil on it just uh, this morning, but it has a nice little, uh, nice little bend to it. And um, I think I'll put another coat of flax seed oil on there, and then when that goes in, I'll, I'll put the, uh, the wood wax in there. But, uh, so I've been working on that. Sorry about the noise with the furnace. And I, I just showed you the mulberry. Nice thin one, kind of kind of lightweight. Nice little piece of wood. And then this one's kind of funky. Um, Gonna make something else out of it, but it's just a little thin piece of oak and uh, a little mixing spoon. For someone who has a big hand, I may put a hole in it with a some kind of brass or copper ring or just a piece of rawhide in there so it hangs by the fire. Because you can just grab onto this pretty good mix, sample, whatever. I will oil this up on Monday. Today is Saturday. And uh, touch it up, finish it up, whatever. But this is some of the stuff I'm working at. Now, also on my Cooks's, this one, I used a very fine burnishing stone. Either got this from Long Island Sound or from New Hampshire at the base of Mount Washington. I can't remember where I got this one. But this is very fine. You just rub it on all your spoons, you get a nice, it seals the wood up, burnishes the wood up nice. And 
so and if you're colorosing putting your uh, your little mark let me see here like your your little mark on there you rub it with the burnishing stone that seals it up pretty good I use coffee to do my this, this is a birch bowl but uh, and then this stone here is not quite as fine as that I use this quite a bit most mainly mainly on excuse me mainly on this side to uh, rub inside or outside the wood and gives it a nice shine and seals everything up and I I'm, I've been doing that for the last couple months, but I didn't always do that. But uh, when I started colorosing, making the marks, I started using the stone. So now I just put it on all the products. But but the oak is all new to me, working with that. And it, it takes a little while for the uh, oil to uh, go in. But, uh, yeah, and I drink a lot of tea, coffee out of there, tea, coffee out of there tea in uh, this is smaller capacity this is mulberry but I, I like it it's one of my early ones that's my first one over there it's kind of funky looking this is a Nathan 4071 church key with some of my wood he put that on the end I think that's fat wood but uh, there might be smoke bush on here that I did also yeah, just while I'm at, I'll show you some more of his stuff. This is a uh, striker from my smoke bush and some cedar. And uh, then he gave me a big baby here. That's all my wood on there, some cedar and some smoke bush. Just while I'm at it, I'll show you. But uh, so I'm always working on something. So let me just, we'll go over here and we'll show you what's going on over here. This I have to put legs on and fix that up a little bit it's a little workstation for me I got that in the woods in my last video the chips I save for uh, my wood stove or go out in the woods you have a bag of it and you start and there's some of my wood there I keep the chips in there and then this is my little table that I use for uh, colorosing I got the uh, coffee here and some music for songs because I do the music too a little bit and a lot of times when I'm uh, doing things I have music going but because of copyright I don't uh, do that this is mulberry I'm gonna put my mark on here color rusted I have a lot of things I have to put my mark on so it's an older spoon and some of my older spoons I have reworked and uh, my little arm bracelet which I need now and uh, glove and uh, beaver craft sharpening unit, which is good. I sharpen it here, here, and then I have stones over there, I'll show you. And these are some of my uh, my tools here. Let's go over here. Got my little holly stick here when I need it. Uh, I have my gouges and I bang Put the gouge in, or put the pro, the uh, spoon in here, the wood, and I gouge it out with my uh, gouges. And this is a beer craft uh, double hook knife here. So these are very, these are actually for broadheads, but they they're great for sharpening the tools and, and knives and stuff like that. So let me just go over here a second. Over right here are some of my uh, gouges here. It's the bigger one. I think it's C Mash and Company, the W Mash and Company. And I have a, a smaller one here, and they're both good. So, use that. Another beaver craft tool here. But uh, let's go over here. These are my hatchets. Um, so I have a lot of axes to them, a bunch of them. But uh, this is a Collins. Axe, Hunter's Axe, small columns here, Norlin here. This one I use sometimes for doing some things, and then the small, inexpensive Camelus. Um, hatchets are good for touch up uh, when I'm making the spoons, but the one I use most of the time, which I didn't sharpen yet after I used it, is my, uh, my cold steel. Um, 
there is that bloody thing. Cold steel throwing axe. Pretty good size handle on it. But uh, yeah, and I keep them very sharp. And uh, I use this the most. If I go up north and I use my Holtzbrook um, hatchet, but um, so that's what I do. And I have a little mallet down there, you can see my first one over there. I don't use too much anymore, but that does for my wood lot. I get this stuff. Well, I have a wood lot, so I do get wood. So and I got some spalted stock right here. I'll be making some more spoons out of this. If you can see the my spalting in there. But, uh, so I'm always working on something. So let me just, uh, that's what's going on. Um, just letting you know. Um, I'm always doing something. And, and when I get oil on my hands, I always rub it on another spoon that I finished or it cooks a, a lot of times it cooks us. Um, I hope to be making some cooks. I'm not that good at it yet. Um, this one here is is uh, cottonwood, ugly as sin. Now, this has a pretty good capacity, and uh, it didn't before, but every once in a while I'll touch it up. But um, got my little mark on there. But uh, and I I rub some beeswax on the bottom every so often and uh, little beeswax here I just want to show you something this is this is not the way you pick the wood see how I have the the grain there like that it looks pretty but really it could leak on you and on the inside but this but it doesn't and uh, this is my mulberry one of my early ones but uh, it, it's fine and also, uh, I, I try in my, um, especially this one, I might designate this for, not just tea, but maybe a little bourbon or something, you know, because it's not real big, but it's great for tea too. But the, And you could put that in your cups too. I don't like anything with milk or anything like that. Black coffee, tea, um, juices maybe. A um, little whiskey if you want to. Put something into the wood so anyways that's what that's what i'm doing I'm, I'm kind of showing you what i'm doing now an important thing is i have a lot of a lot of uh bushcraft knives um a lot of moras i use a lot of moras let me just show you here i want to get more of these baskets and i got them at uh, target but uh, i have a lot of spoons in here too you know spalted uh, maple there i think you've seen that one but uh, so I'm working on some of these. I have to put my uh, my mark on a uh, bunch of them. There's a lot, a lot of different spoons here, um, cedar. But uh, so that's what I'm kind of doing, you know. And I got some old snowshoes that I made with uh, Swedish hemp and some pussy willow. Some more over there. Military snowshoes. Regular snowshoes, but uh, of course I got lamps and all this stuff. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. A little lantern there. But uh, my son makes beer and he has labels and different things like that. And of course I got the uh, moose head right there too. It's, it's the marketing, you know, the moose there. But uh, flaxseed oil. Walrus oil, Howard's cutting board, and of course, uh, some wood wax there. So I hope uh, you have a good weekend, and uh, you're doing fine. Thank God I'm doing fine, but uh, that's what we're doing here. So. Just bringing you along is what I'm doing here. So, do I have any specialties? Eh, I don't know. Jack of all trades, I guess. But uh, I do make a lot of spoons. Uh, I'm, I'm liking that a lot.